it's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we have a very, very exciting video. I am finally bringing you guys through the fully furnished apartment tour of my DC big girl apartment. I'm so excited to film this video. I have been moving in, getting settled, decorating and organizing this apartment for like a month and a half at this point and I feel like it's finally ready and it's finally exactly the way that I want so I'm super excited to show you guys like the finished product and bring you through each room and kind of like give you the vision of what I love about this apartment. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Charlotte. I'm a post-grad lifestyle and productivity vlogger here on YouTube and I just moved to the Washington DC area to kind of like kickstart my post-grad life. Like I mentioned, I've been living here for about a month and a half no it's about two months at this point yeah i've been living here for about two months at this point i moved in at the end of january so we really kick-started 2024 off with a bang and in this video like i said i'm going to be giving you guys the full tour of my apartment so this is a 535 square foot one bedroom apartment technically it's a junior one bedroom if you've never heard that phrase before like i hadn't when i moved in here it basically just means that it's a one bedroom but there's no window to the outside in the bedroom so all the windows to the outside in my apartment are in the living room and the kitchen area but there is a separate like bedroom and sleeping space it just doesn't have a window I did an entire apartment hunting video a move-in series a decorating and organizing series so if you guys missed any of those videos I will link the playlist for you down in the description I'll also link it in the cards for you I think it's this corner so you can go check out those videos and get caught up after you finish watching this video I do want to say a quick disclaimer if for whatever reason you guys know or find out what building I'm living in please keep that information private just for the sake of my safety it's really important that I keep that information private so if for whatever reason you already know or you found out somehow where I'm living again just please keep that to yourself I love making these videos I love sharing my life with you guys but I can't do that if I don't feel safe so that's my little speech but without any further ado let's get started with this apartment tour I'm so excited to show you guys the finished decorated apartment we are currently in my living room but I'm gonna head back through that hallway and we're gonna start start this tour at the front door and I'll bring you guys through kind of like the cinematic walkthrough of the apartment. <laughs> okay, so like I said, we're starting off at the front door and I'm gonna kind of like walk you guys through this apartment room by room. So we're gonna start off with my little entryway. So right when you come in the door, this is what you see. I'm very happy with this entryway. I think it turned out so cute. So it's just this little like oddly shaped corner right here. There's not a ton of space, but I think it turned out pretty well. I think I made good use of it and then we've got this long hallway down to the living room but we'll get to that in a minute so right here pretty much the first thing that you see is this little like entryway cabinet like table sort of deal so this is actually a shoe cabinet I forgot to mention at the beginning but I will be linking everything that I can down below for you guys in the description I'll organize them by like order of appearance and by room so everything that I can link down below I will there's gonna be like a hundred links down there probably but if you guys want a link to anything that I'm showing in this apartment check the description it's probably there first and if there isn't a link in the description leave a comment and let me know and I will do my best to find one or find a link to something similar so this obviously will be linked down in the description this is a shoe cabinet that I got from Amazon I like that it's so like narrow and it's just like a really nice way to hide and organize your shoes I hate having like a messy entryway with shoes everywhere so this just has two little pull-out cabinets that can each fit four pairs of shoes so I just got some of my most commonly worn shoes in there up on top I just decorated it with a couple little candles here and then this gold bowl for my keys or my wallet or pretty much anything that I want to grab on my way out the door I got this from home goods I'm absolutely obsessed with it I think it's so pretty I also got this little fake plant here just to add some height since this cabinet ended up being kind of short and then we've also got this beautiful tapestry this was one of the last pieces that I put in during my decorating series but I absolutely love it and then directly opposite this cabinet we've got my little gold hanging mirror I have this here just as like a last minute double check make sure you look okay right before you head out the door for the day it also reflects a little bit of light back into this part of the apartment since there is no like natural light there are no windows over here the windows are like back through that hallway back there so it kind of reflects a little bit of light makes it a little bit brighter in here but that is the little entryway with the mirror and the shoe rack sort of like entryway table I've also got this little gold 
gold hook right here, right, literally right next to the door, which is obviously where I keep like my to-go bag and my umbrella. In the winter time, I'll hang a jacket here, but in DC, it's springtime and warm and sunny and I don't need to be wearing jackets anymore. So that's so exciting for me. I'm used to snow right now. This is usually like snow season in Maine and Michigan. So I am living my best life right now. So that's it for the entryway. We've got two different directions that we could go from the entryway. The apartment is sort of shaped like a loop. So we could either go through this door back here, which leads us back into the bathroom, or we could go down this hallway into the living room and kitchen area, which is what we're gonna do, and then we'll come back to the bathroom at the end. So we're gonna head down this hallway. This is kind of what I think of as like the utility hallway in this apartment. You can see we've got three closets along this hallway. This one is like a maintenance closet that I actually can't get into. Only building management can get in here, but I'm pretty sure this is like the guts of my AC and heating system. In this second door, I've got in-unit washer and dryer. And then on top, I put some of my laundry stuff. Got like OxyClean, dryer sheets, detergent, and then vinegar. It is so convenient to have in-unit unit laundry. It's one of the things that made me choose this apartment. I did an entire video on apartment hunting down here in Washington, D.C. and kind of like the reason why I chose this apartment over some of the others. And in-unit laundry was definitely a big piece for me. It's just really important for me because I'm just so bad at doing laundry on a consistent interval. Like I'm notorious for doing my laundry at like 11.30 p.m. So to be able to have that in-unit and do my laundry whenever I need to is so nice. And then the last little door in this hall hallway is sort of like a catch-all closet. It's sort of a mess right now, but there's not really a whole lot that I can do to fix that. On the door, I just hung a little command hook and put one of my purses in there. This purse is from Princess Polly. But like I said, this cabinet is kind of a catch-all space. It's a really big walk-in closet. So like I could fit in here comfortably. Like it's very large space. So it's really great for kind of putting in all those things that I don't really have another place for. So like when I first moved in, my mom and I went to Costco and I got paper towels and toilet paper in bulk. So like this is a good spot to keep all of that. I've got like my suitcases in here, a furniture pad, that's my air mattress, just like a lot of random stuff. It's also a good place to keep all my extra like winter gear. And of course my toolkit, cordless drill and drill bit set. If you know no, you know those are the most important things in my apartment probably anyway after we get through this hallway we come upon the living room and the kitchen and y'all it is stunning I'm so obsessed with this apartment let me show you how it looks here is the living room and kind of like the dining area and then the kitchen I just think it looks so majestic like opening up like this when you come out of the hallway and of course you've got all the windows on the far wall that let in all the natural light this apartment has such good lighting that was another thing for me that was really important when I was looking for apartments and obviously this apartment has good lighting in spades. But first we'll take a look at the living room. This is probably my favorite room in the apartment. I think it's because it was the first one that I had fully decorated. I love this living room so much. It's so cozy and homey and it just I love it, it feels like my space. So first up on this back wall, we have sort of like my entertainment system. I've got a 55 inch TV, which I absolutely love. This was a housewarming gift from my mom and dad. I'm a big like movies and TV person and it's so, it makes such a big difference to have like a quality TV. I've also got this little like media console here. I got this from Amazon. On top, I've just got some decor, like a plant and a candle. Over here, some more like picture frames, candles, flowers. In these center consoles, I've got like, my Wi-Fi and modem and like all my TV and stuff is plugged in on that extension cord. It's not the prettiest, but it's functional. So what can you do? And then in this corner, I've got this faux fiddly fig leaf tree. If you've been over to my Instagram recently, all of my recent pictures have this tree in the background. I love it so much. I've always wanted one of these and I finally got one when I moved in. A lot of people have been suggesting to replace that pot with something a little bit bigger. I definitely agree. I just haven't found one that I love yet. So it's a work in progress. <laughs> then we've got my little bubble rug. I love this rug so much. This was one of the first pieces that I found at Ikea that I picked out and knew that I wanted. And it's just so bright and happy and I love it. Then we've got my couch, which I also love. I think it's beautiful. It's a nice like neutral color. I've got like a little fuzzy white blankie on the back and the pillows. But one of the reasons that I love this couch is that it has an attached pullout ottoman that extends to make it 
just the coziest thing you've ever seen. The back also goes down and the entire couch extends to be a queen size sleeper sofa. So if I ever have company, this is a really, really great feature. I'm really glad that I went with this couch. I got this from Bob's Discount Furniture. If you guys saw my um, moving and decorating or my organizing and decorating videos, part one and two. That is where I told the story and regaled you all with the tales of getting the couch. It was kind of, kind of a, a lengthy process, but we got there in the end and I'm very, very happy with it. Right on the side of the couch, I've got this skinny little end table. I originally was gonna use this as a nightstand. I had this as a nightstand in my bedroom in my Michigan apartment, but it just fits so perfectly out here. Um, next to the couch, especially because I don't have a coffee table. Because the couch pulls out and has the ottoman, I didn't want to put a coffee table in here because I feel like I'd constantly be moving it out of the way so I could extend the couch. So I don't have a coffee table, which I honestly kind of like because I feel like having this space open makes the entire apartment feel more open. So I have this little tray right here, which kind of serves as a place to put your drink down if you have something or your, you know, if I'm watching a movie and have a bowl of popcorn, I can put it right here whatever. So obviously I keep a little plant and of course a candle and then I keep my little electronic candle lighter here as well and then the TV remote obviously. I also on the other side of the couch have another like my ladder shelf is over there which is another place where you can put food and drinks or whatever. We also have these two sofa tables behind the couch which is really easy to just reach over and put something down over here so even though there's no coffee table I feel like there's still plenty of places to put stuff and I absolutely love these sofa tables. I think they fit so perfectly in the space and they're such a nice way to kind of bridge the living room and the kitchen Which we'll get to next. So I got these from Amazon. I'll link them down below It's actually two separate tables that I just kind of pushed together to look like one long table that takes up the length of the back of the couch. Obviously decorated with plants, candles, books, and some pictures. And then I have these green like plush chairs as the dining chairs. These were actually the first piece of furniture that I bought for this apartment. I got them on day one at TJ Maxx with my mom. And I've got some of my extra couch cushions hanging out with them. But they're this beautiful green color that actually kind of inspired the color palette for the rest of my apartment. And they're so comfy and they're just so pretty. And they fit perfectly right underneath the couch, like the sofa tables. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this entire space. I think it's so beautiful. And again, like all the furniture matches. So it's all like this darker wood color with black metal. So like the sofa tables match the end table, match the media console, which match the ladder shelf. Like everything goes together and it just feels like it frames the living room really, really nicely. Speaking of the ladder shelf, here she is in all her glory. This was one of the first furniture pieces that I had put up in my apartment. My my mom helped me assemble this. I brought this from home. I don't think Amazon makes this anymore, but I'll link something similar down below. But obviously on each shelf, I've just got some decor that's cute and aesthetic, but also like somewhat meaningful. We've got lots of my plants, photos, and then some of my favorite books up here as well. So this is like purely for decoration, but I love it anyway. So that's the living room. Like I said, probably my favorite room in this apartment. Right off the living room, I also have a balcony, which I think is so cool. So if we head out here, this is my little balcony space, obviously. In there is my living room and my apartment. A balcony was not something that I had on my like requirements list when I was apartment hunting, but I absolutely love having a balcony. Obviously, I don't have any furniture out here yet, but I want to get some eventually. I probably won't do a whole video about it. Actually, I'm quite sure that I won't do an entire video about getting like decorating my balcony, but I might do like a mini series over on my Instagram and my TikTok. If anyone has any suggestions on where to get like decent quality, but not too expensive outdoor furniture. I guess it's sort of like indoor outdoor furniture cause like it is covered, but um, let me know. So that is the balcony. We're gonna head back inside so you guys can actually hear me over the traffic. So right across the door from the balcony, we have my sort of like dining area slash desk area. It sort of doubles. I have this table that doubles as a desk and a kitchen table, which honestly is fine. So again, I'm just living here by myself, so I don't need like a separate desk and kitchen table. I also most of the time end up eating at these sofa tables anyway, so it's fine. But I got this table and chair set from Ikea and then decorated with kind of a mix of a bunch of different things. Most of the stuff that's on here are desk and journaling supplies. Again, if you guys wanna see more in depth of like doing the actual 
decorations. I will link my decorating series down below. I really like this space. I think it takes up this little area right here in front of the windows really well. It also adds a little bit of extra counter space if I need to like cook an elaborate meal or something because it's just right here next to the kitchen. Okay, next up we've got my kitchen and it's like sunset-ish right now. So we've got these beautiful like golden hour streams of light coming in hitting my kitchen. It's making me really happy. But my kitchen in this apartment isn't too big, but again, that's okay. I'm living here by myself, so I don't need all that much space. It's just me, we're just chilling. So here is a little overview of the kitchen. Again, it's not super big, so there's not a whole lot to go through, but we'll start over here. We've got kind of this weird little cutout on the edge of the kitchen. So back there, I just have my stepladder, and then in here, I just have my trash can. Honestly, this ended up being the perfect space for it, so I'm not even that mad that like the countertop doesn't extend all the way to the wall. Then right here we've got this little sliver of counter space right next to the stove. Over here we've got my air fryer, I've got some fake plants, my vitamin D supplements, and then I've got a little mini calendar as well. I also keep a phone charger over here because I try not to charge my phone next to my bed. It's one of my little life hacks for sleeping better and also getting your screen time down is to charge your phone across the room from your bed so you literally can't reach it from bed. Makes it so that you literally can't go on your phone before you fall asleep and you have to get out of bed to turn your alarm off. So that's my little life hack. So I just charge my phone over here most nights. Right next to this piece of counter space, we've got the stove, got the electric stove, then there's also an oven. Below the oven, we've also got this little tray which has like cookie sheets and oven mitts in it. I just put my salt and pepper in a little spoon rest and a little cutting board, like a decorative cutting board up on the stove. And above it, we've got my microwave and of course some cabinets. I won't take you guys through the cabinets because that would take forever and also be incredibly boring, but I've got really good cabinet space in this kitchen. Next to the stove, I've got all of my cooking utensils and my knife block. These are both from Amazon. I'll link them down below. Then we've got my sink and the rest of my counter space. This just looks so beautiful right now with the sunlight coming in. I'm currently propagating some plants. These won't stay here forever so it looks a little bit more cluttered right now than it will like all the time. We've got the dishwasher over here right next to the sink and then lastly for the kitchen obviously we have the fridge and the freezer. So again not huge but she gets the job done and she's really pretty especially when the sun is coming in at sunset. So that is the kitchen. Right off the kitchen is where we have my bedroom. I absolutely love my bedroom. This was one of the last rooms that I finished decorating in this apartment, so it still feels like new and fresh to me, but I love it so much. It's just so like cozy and comfortable and inviting. I just, oh my God, I love it. It makes me very happy. A lot of people came for my throat for having these fairy lights up on my wall. I've got two things to say. Number one, they're functional more than anything else. Like I said in the beginning, this is a junior one bedroom, so there isn't any window to the outside in this entire bedroom. Fortunately, the door to this bedroom faces the window, so I do still get a lot of natural light when the door is open, but there's no window in here, so I need to have good, like, electric lighting. And there's no overhead light in this room, so I had to get creative with the way I lit up the room, and the way I chose to do it was with these fairy lights, okay? So number one thing I have to say is that they're functional more than decorative because I needed an overhead light. Second thing I need to say, so many people were saying that the fairy lights were giving like college dorm and that it doesn't look adult, it just looks juvenile. I like the way it looks. I personally, I'm only 22. I don't feel like I need to be striving for this like fully adult, like get rid of everything childish aesthetic. Um, and I like the way that they look and I don't mind if some of you think that it makes me look like I'm still in college because I graduated college less than a year ago. So um, clearly it didn't bother me at all that people were not liking my lights. Clearly I'm very normal about it and it didn't rattle my cage at all. Anyway, moving on. So I do have my room lit up with these fairy lights. I like them. That is the only thing that matters. <laughs> so right out the door, we've got this little decor piece on the wall. I think this looks so cute. These two pieces were from previous apartments. Here in this corner, I've got my nightstand. I'll link this down below. This is from Amazon. It's got a couple drawers in it. And then on top, I've got like a plant, this lamp also from Amazon. And I keep a book here because I try and read at night. I've also got this little remote here, which controls my bed. I'm not gonna do it right now because it messes up the pillows. Well, maybe I will. When I bought my mattress, um, they were having a sale where if you bought a mattress, you got a free bed frame that like lifts all the way up. And I was like, how am I gonna turn that down? Especially cause like I said, I like to read at night. So 
I have the adjustable um, frame on my bed, which is so cool. So I just keep the little remote right on my nightstand so that I can adjust that as I please at night. Like I put it up when I'm reading or like watching a movie or something and then put it down when I'm ready to go to sleep. Then obviously we have my bed. This is a queen size bed. I'll link all the bedding and everything. I went with a green aesthetic, which I've never gone with before. And I just think it looks so good. Above my bed, we've got these floating shelves, which I just recently put up like a week ago. I think they look so so good, I love them so much. You may notice I don't have a headboard on my bed, but I've never really liked the way that headboards look, I don't know. So I just think this is a really nice way to kind of like frame the bed and like bring the eye up a little bit. All the usual suspects for decor, plants and candles and picture frames. Then in the other corner and on this opposite wall, we've got this like eucalyptus tree. Got that from Amazon, love it so much. If you haven't already connected the dots, I really like plants. <laughs> So it's been really fun to decorate this this apartment with lots of plants and lots of greenery. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> then on this wall, we've got my dresser decorated with, you know, all the same stuff. And then we've got this nice big gold mirror above it. This mirror looks so good, but if you know, you know, this was the biggest pain to put together. Oh my God, tested my patience putting this mirror on the wall, but it looks so good. I am really, really happy with the way it turned out. I've also got this little jewelry stand on here right in front of the mirror so I can obviously pick and choose which jewelry I wanna wear for the day. This mirror is also obviously opposite my door. So whatever natural light is coming in through my door gets reflected from this mirror kind of like disperses throughout the whole room, just makes the whole room feel a little bit lighter. This dresser also from Amazon, again, same deal, looks absolutely stunning. Love her, was a pain in my butt to put together. This took like six and a half hours to assemble. It was brutal. On the opposite side of the room, we've got my large mirror. Y'all might recognize this from like 80% of my thumbnails. I absolutely love this mirror. I've currently got it decorated with a string of bulb lights. Let me see if I can turn them on. Yeah, there we go. So obviously I've got the mirror kind of like framed out in a set of like bistro lights and then also a set of vines. Again, just adding the greenery back in. I love this mirror. It's my favorite thing. Again, all my thumbnail pictures are taken in this mirror. It's just, I love it. I love it, I love it a lot. And then beyond the mirror, pretty much this entire back wall is made up of closet. You can see I've got a double closet in this bedroom. It's really nice, really good closet space. I won't take you guys through the closet. I will spare you that, but we did decorate out my closet. I did part of this in a video, but I am very thankful to have lots of closet space. Y'all may or may not know I'm a little bit of a hoarder. I kinda, I like to collect things. I'm pretty bad at getting rid of things, but I'm really good at getting new things. Um, so it's. It's a blessing and a curse to have a lot of closet space because it means I have space for all my stuff, but it also kind of like encourages me to keep collecting stuff. It's kind of a double-edged sword, but it's fine. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that until I move out again. And then last but not least, we have this door on the back wall to my bedroom, which leads into the ensuite bathroom. I absolutely love this bathroom. It just feels so clean and like aesthetic and happy. I don't know. I never thought I'd use those words to describe a bathroom, but here we are. So over on the back wall, we've got this really nice tiled in shower and bath combo. I love this shower. It just feels so like, I don't know, it feels like a fancy hotel shower, like a spa shower. It's just so beautiful. It's also got these built-in niches, which I use to store like my shampoo and conditioner and all my products and stuff. And then I just have my shower curtain up there. Got this from Amazon a couple years ago. I've also got a little white bath mat there. Over here, we've got the toilet and some decor on top. I think this looks really, really nice. I really like the way that this turned out. Also functional, we've got stuff in all the jars like we've got Q-tips and cotton rounds up there, like air freshener, tampons, and extra roll of toilet paper. So it looks nice and it's functional. That was sort of my MO with this apartment. I wanted things to look nice and also work in real life. Cause there's really no point of having something look good if it doesn't like work or if it's a pain in the butt to like use, I guess. So I was really big on making sure that everything looked nice and also was functional. Then we obviously have the vanity and the mirror. Another thing that I absolutely love about this apartment was the vanity and the mirror situation. The mirror obviously has this like strip of LED light in there so it lights up which is perfect for whenever I'm doing my makeup or getting ready for work. It's got a pretty decent amount of counter space over here. I've just got most of my like props 
products that I reach for every day. Also got under sink storage, which I was really happy about. My last apartment, like my college apartment in Michigan was literally just a sink glued to the wall. So there was no counter space and there wasn't any storage. So I was really happy to have both of those things in this apartment. We've also got another bath mat here. And then over here, lastly for the bathroom, we've got this skinny little like broom closet. In here, I've got like my cleaning supplies, broom, mop, vacuum, and some extra towels up top. And then if we open this door at the back, it leads us back out into the entryway, right where we started this video. So it makes a little loop. I think it's so cute. <laughs> All right, you guys. So that is my entire finished decorated apartment. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along on this apartment tour. I've been so excited to film this video and I'm so excited that it's finally done and it looks exactly the way I envisioned. Like it looks exactly the way I want. I feel so happy and so at home here. Like I'm just having the time of my life. DC has been such a blast so far. I have loved exploring and figuring out my favorite places and just like trying new things. It's currently cherry blossom season. So like yesterday I went out and saw the cherry blossoms. It was so beautiful. I, I'm just so glad that I moved, that I was able to find such a great apartment, that I've been able to make it my own. I just feel really, really grateful for my life right now. I also want to say a huge shout out and thank you to you guys for watching my videos and supporting my channel. None of this would have been possible without you. Every person that watched my videos and liked my videos and left comments, thank you all so much. We've got a lot of new viewers here on the channel. We've also got a lot of OGs all the way back from when I started my channel doing college vlogs. So, so shout out and thank you to every single one of you for being here and supporting me in my channel. It really means the world to me. Like I can't even tell you how much it means that I, ha I get to like have this job and do these videos and have a YouTube channel. Like it's so cool. So thank you to you guys. You helped to make this possible. I'm serious. I just started a brand new corporate job down here in DC. I'm so excited. I'm wrapping up my first week right now and it's just been such a blast. I've been having so much fun. So my first day of work and my first week of work, I filmed both of those videos. They're coming soon, probably actually pretty soon after I post this video that you're watching right now. So keep an eye out for those. They're coming soon. I'm really excited to get back into like corporate big girl content and share that with you guys as well so stay tuned for all of that but that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already we are so so close to 40,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane so if you want to join the family make sure you subscribe down below we would absolutely love to have you but that's gonna be it for this one thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one so Bye guys.